Hello, Gemini. This is Sage Intuitive, and I am here to do a singles reading. We're going to kind of explore what it is that you're looking for in love. How do you feel about love and all of those good um, little nuggets of information to help you kind of move towards what it is you want if you want um, a relationship right now. Um, we'll also see if there's anyone coming towards you as well. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. This is a new channel, so every single subscription, every single like, share, comment helps the channel grow, and it is greatly appreciated. So we're going to get go ahead and jump right into it. So for Gemini, let's see. How do you feel about love right now? For Geminis, let's see how you're feeling about love. So right now, um, some of you are just really, <laughs> you may not feel anything about love right now. You may be wanting to work on your money, um, work on your health, uh, building your own stability. So some of you are maybe, maybe not even really focused on love that much. Um, but if you are, you want something that is, um, stable, something that can, um, provide stability. So while you're providing your own stability, you are desiring someone to provide stability for you. Um, but as of right now, how you feel about love, some of you are not even really paying attention to it that much. You're just kind of like working on your own, um, abundance, if you will. So what happened in the past what has happened in the past in love for Gemini? What has happened in the past? So in the past, you dealt with situations that left you very um, stressed. Um, some for some um, situations, it was just like it wasn't moving forward. So maybe that is why you decided to step away from um, the situation. And I think you stepping away from the situation um, led you into a more calmer uh, life, if you will, which maybe also is why you decided, you know what, I'll just focus on my work right now, because with whoever you could have been dealing with Gemini could have brought you a lot of um could have brought you a lot of stress, brought a lot of stuff, unnecessary things um, into your life, and you weren't really feeling that. Um, so what is your best asset in love or relationships? What is the best asset that Geminis have? So your, your best asset is that you know how to use your words. You could also... Be someone that could get you out, get yourself out of conflict. Um, you, uh, you are one that wants to win at all costs, and so that could be an asset for you. Um, because winning at all costs, it doesn't necessarily have to be like you're being deceitful to other people. Maybe it's winning at all costs as to what I need, so I'm gonna leave the situation alone. Um, so I'm just gonna leave. Um, so maybe you have have the um, knowledge to not sit in conflict for for very long. Maybe you decide that you'll leave out of conflict, and this is all an assets for you. Um, you don't want uh, some of you don't like just really don't want to be defeated, so you just leave. You may you know you may try to get the last word and leave or leave before someone could leave you. I guess that could be an asset if that's that's how you view it. Um, let's see what you think you want in love. What does Gemini believe that they want in love? You want um, to transform. So you want someone that is going to um, transform with you and build with you. Um, someone who's focused on their money as well, focused on their own stability. You want, um, you want change, but you definitely want evolution when it comes to love and relationships. So again, someone who is thinking about money, wealth, um, uh, your health, all those things, you want someone who's willing to transform and grow with you when it comes to, um, love. So what is it that you actually need? Let's see what you need. What 
what is it that Gemini needs? Okay. You need someone who's emotionally stable, someone who can tap into their emotions and express that to you, someone who's not really going to hold back, um, someone who's going to come off as um, a very, you know, a, like a king, really, or a queen, um, not a kid, not someone who is not going to um, really be um, mature. When it comes to love, you want someone that is mature about their feelings, who can express their feelings freely, and who is emotionally stable. Um, someone who is really willing to go um, go on some type of journey with you, regardless um, of the situation. Someone who's going to have faith when it comes to, to moving forward. Someone who's not afraid to take a leap of faith and love. Um, that is what you actually need. But what is your challenge in love? What is your challenge? Let's see what your challenge looks like. What is your challenge in love? Your challenge could be that you are working too hard, focusing so much on, on your financial security that you don't think about anything else. Um, your, another challenge could be that you are wanting to be in control, like a lot. Um, you want you want to be the authority of everything regarding um, love. And yeah, you should be in control of your love life, but don't um, be in control so much that a person feels like maybe they don't, you don't need them because you decided like, you know, you want to control the entire situation all the time. So that could be, um, that could be something that, that could affect you. Um, another challenge is that maybe you are not as expressive when it comes to expressing your creative side or expressing your passionate side so that could be a challenge for you as well so just being careful um to have balance when it comes to oh yeah i want love but then i also want to make sure that my stability is intact as well which is nothing wrong with that of course but having that proper balance is what's going to help you out in your situation what action do you need to take what actions do you need to take right now what actions Gemini need to take? You're, so you need to be careful of any type of um, trickery around you. So using your discernment, that's what you need to do. That's what you need to focus on. Um, being being the judge of those that are around you to make sure that... Um, your outcome is of the best interest of you and potentially the person, but for the most part, always having that self-love type of perspective. Um, but yeah, definitely using your discernment and um, being careful of people that may come in to try to trick you. Um, really paying attention, keeping your eyes open for that type of behavior and knowing when it's time to walk away from that from that situation to move past it um and not get caught up into whatever that you know could be from that particular person are there any potential lovers coming in in the near future any particular any potential lovers so right now again showing that you are working on your money so for some of you you're not even thinking about love honestly um you're you're more so concerned to make sure that you don't have a, a loss in your finances you are trying to make sure to build you're trying to build your empire so you're not even thinking about um love i think some some of you are so fearful as well that you feel a bit powerless when that happens and um you're so afraid of deceit some of you could have gone through some type of divorce as well and that could could have um skewed your your thought 
process around it. Some of you are waiting probably for a divorce or some type of um, waiting for uh, some type of resolution around that. Um, there could be some confusion for you. So right now, it's just easier for you to go ahead and just work on um, you work on your money and uh, get your own stability intact. Uh, let's get a card of advice. Card of advice, please. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So having to, um, you know, put effort towards love, making time for love. What's happening here is you're focusing more on money pinnacles. You know, you're focusing on your, uh, on the, on those, those things that, you know, help, help you on your, you know, your day to day, making sure that your bills are paid and all that. And that's absolutely amazing. But how are you going to do that? Um, you're going to focus only on that and then expect love to come knock at your door. That's not going to happen. Um, and it's also telling you that you need to release your ex. So some of you are probably waiting for a divorce to um, finally finalize um, or is saying that your ex is really still in your energy. And you're going to need to release that because maybe all of this fear that you could be feeling is based on whatever happened with an ex. So that is what I have for you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I hope that this reading gave you some clarity um, and give you some things. If that, if you want to work on some things, give you some um, little nuggets to work from there. Um, all right. I'll see you all soon. Take care.